Hi there, Year 3. This is the last part I'm going to read you of this book, Kay's Anatomy. We're going to finish learning about the lungs today. Next week I'm going to start reading something else to you. If you've got any ideas of what you'd like me to read for you, make sure you send an email and let me know. Okay? I hope you enjoy learning about the lungs today. Stethoscope. If you go to the doctor with a breathing-based issue, they'll probably have a listen to your chest with a stethoscope. In fact, if they don't, maybe you should ask to see their medical certificate or check the sign on the door. It's possible you've wandered into a fishmonger's by mistake. You know the stethoscope. It's that Y-shaped gadget with a couple of earpieces and a long tube that connects to a disc at the other end. Doctors use it to listen to the lungs for any wheezing that might indicate asthma or any crackles that might mean there's an infection brewing. It can also be used to listen to the heart or the tummy or any parts of the body that make interesting noises apart from that one. Kay's questions. How long can we hold our breath? Not that long really, somewhere between 30 seconds and a minute. Any longer than that and it gets dangerous because your body doesn't like carbon dioxide building up in the blood. Too much of it and you're faint. If you're reading this and you're a blue whale, then the answer is you can hold your breath for an hour and a half. This is extremely useful if one of your relatives lets off a particularly noxious fart. Yes, whales do fart, I checked. I'm not sure what whale farts smell like, but I'm guessing not great. I might have to take my laptop to a shop to repair the key. I mean, the key. I mean, the Q key, if it doesn't get better soon. And uh, that's why you keep spelling questions wrong. Keep spelling it with a K and a W. Do you need both lungs? Some people live quite happily with just one lung and you'd never know. Unless you saw the big scar going halfway around their chest. It's not co common to remove a lung, but it can happen after a bad injury or as a part of the treatment for lung cancer. Pope Francis had a lung removed as a teenager. And it hasn't stopped him doing any of his poping. What are hiccups? Hiccups are caused by little twitches in your diaphragm that suck air really quickly down your windpipe. Hick. They sometimes happen if you've eaten food too fast or had too many fizzy drinks. Hick. Sometimes they happen if you're nervous or excited. But often they happen for no reason at all. They normally disappear on their own. But some people find their hiccups go away if they hold their breath. Not for too long though, otherwise you'll have bigger problems than hiccups. Very rarely, hiccups don't go away on their own and you might need to take medicine to get rid of them. One man called Charles Osborne hiccups constantly for 68 years, which must have really annoyed his family. Hick, hick, hick. True or poo? Astronauts breathe we. True. There isn't any oxygen in space, so astronauts on the International Space Station need to make it themselves. It's not too tricky getting oxygen from water. H2O, the chemical formula for water, splits neatly into hydrogen and oxygen. But since Tesco doesn't deliver bottled water to space, astronauts need to find other sources on board, such as we. It's not quite as bad as it sounds. The we gets purified first. But even so, yuck. You can swallow and breathe at the same time. Poo. It's not true. Because of your epiglottis, remember that little flap over your trachea? You can either swallow or breathe at any one time, but never both. The epiglottis snaps shut if it gets too much as a whiff of a pringle. Your lungs would float on water. Is true. Your lungs are in fact the only organ in your body that can float, thanks to all their air-filled ravioli, sorry, avioli. Whichever scientist found this out must have spent a particularly messy day dropping organs into a swimming pool. Okay, well I hope you've enjoyed what I've read to you from this book. I would recommend it if you see it in the shops, it is a really good book to read and it is quite funny. Okay, well I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll speak to you again next week. Bye.